Hello everyone, this is Nirupama and welcome to Simplify. Today I am going to talk about aging and the biological mechanisms of aging. Time passes and we start needing reading glasses. Then comes the fat redistribution in the body, wrinkling of skin, decrease in muscular strength, menopause in women and so on. All these are signs of aging, also known as senescence. So what causes these age-related conditions? Before I begin, I would like to briefly talk about two classes of compounds that are popularly used to explain the process of aging. The first class of compounds are known as free radicals. Free radicals are basically compounds with an unpaired electron on them and they are held responsible for causing aging. Now to counteract the effect of the free radicals are the second class of compounds known as antioxidants. So antioxidants are compounds that neutralize the effect of the free radicals in our body. The two atom bombs that were dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki caused massive deaths and left the survivors with a shorter lifespan. This gave the whole free radical research a momentum as the lethal effects of radiation were ascribed to the formation of free radicals in the body. So how are these free radicals formed and what damage do they cause? The free radicals are formed in our bodies during respiration by the mitochondrial cells. They are also formed by our immune system while fighting infectious diseases. These free radicals cause what is known as macromolecular damage to the body, which means that they damage the carbohydrates, fats, proteins and even the DNA in our body. But wait a minute, free radicals do more than just acting as monsters and causing damage to our bodies. It is often overlooked that free radicals are important signaling molecules that are in fact required by our bodies to function efficiently. Free radicals are also required for fighting off those microbes that invade our bodies every once in a while. So now we know that although the free radicals cause damage to the body, they are also required for the appropriate functioning of our bodies. You must be wondering, how does this all work out? Well, let me tell you, our human bodies are a place of marvels. We have a very efficient endogenous antioxidant system in our bodies that work in a very complex and interlocking mechanism where they keep the level of free radicals under check while also allowing its useful roles to continue. So now the question is, if everything is so perfectly balanced in the body, why do we still age? Well, you see, in an ideal world, the constant generation of free radicals in the body would be effectively kept under check by the endogenous antioxidant system. But we don't live in an ideal world, do we? We live in cities where we expose our bodies to adverse environmental conditions like air pollutants, cigarette smoke, UV rays and toxic chemicals. We have big jobs, busy lives, but we suffer from lifestyle conditions like stress, depression and obesity. Moreover, we also indulge in high cholesterol diets. In all these situations, the balance in the body shifts in the favor of the free radicals, putting the body in a condition of oxidative stress. But remember, the body does not go into oxidative stress overnight. This happens over a period of time with repeated exposure to environmental factors and lifestyle conditions. And eventually, the oxidative stress becomes an etiology of several age-related disorders such as atherosclerosis, which is deposition of fat in the arteries, dementia, which is memory loss, cancer, muscular dysfunction, baldness, or even wrinkling of skin. Genetics is also an important predeterminant of several age-related diseases or disorders as some people are genetically predisposed to certain conditions like diabetes or Alzheimer's. Also, next time you wonder why some people look so young even at an older age, you know it's the genes talking. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys liked it. Please like and comment on the video and do subscribe to my channel. Also watch out for the second part of this video where I'll be talking about the importance of antioxidants in our diet.